guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Evie and today I want to show you how to make a beautiful feather mirror. This is a very easy DIY but yet it makes such an impact on your home decor. Well guys, if you're interested in today's video then definitely you're gonna love this one where I made another version in a bigger scale three years ago. This is my most viewed video so go check it out after you watch today's video. I will leave the link in the description box below for you guys. And if you like DIY home decor videos on a low budget, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you liked today's video, then hit the like button and share it with your friends if you think it's something they would be interested in. Well guys, without further ado, let's get started. For today's DIY we're gonna need two and a half yards wide strand goose feathers, seven inch long, five inch round mirror, some wooden beads, scissors, a pencil, a glue gun and some glue sticks, a cardboard, white acrylic paint, a brush and some string. Alright guys, first we have to draw a circle on the cardboard and I found this plate to be very convenient. Its diameter is 11 and a half inches, but don't worry, if you don't have something this big as mine, you can draw it with an improvised compass. If you don't know how to do it, then you'll find the video I told you earlier very helpful. Next, cut the circumference of the circle with the scissors. If you can tell, I'm struggling here because my cardboard is very thick, so I had to figure out another way to cut it. So I brought in my trusty X-Acto knife. If you don't own one, you definitely should. By the way guys, you will find the links for everything you'll need in the description box down below in case you're interested. And voila! Perfect circle! Now what we're gonna do next is to paint it. I used white acrylic paint because that's what I had on hand. But you can feel free to use spray paint if you want, it will speed up the process for sure. And don't forget to paint both sides, front and back. At the front where I'll put the feathers on, I intentionally left the spot where I'll put the mirror because I thought that it would be easier to adhere it to the cardboard. Well, the next step was a fail because I tried to paint the side of the cardboard, but it didn't work as I envisioned it. It's a thick one and I couldn't get in those gaps and fill them in. So I had to come up with a better solution and I think this beige bender tape came in very handy. What I did was to cut a piece at a time, stick the half of it on the cardboard and then cut it vertically in two spots until I reach the side of the cardboard. And then stick it at the back. That way the tape enfolds perfectly around the circle. Now if you don't have a beige one, you can use whatever color you have and then paint it over with your white paint for a slicker look. Next, take your mirror and try to lay it in the center of the cardboard. And then draw a line around it. Then go ahead and add your feathers by putting hot glue about 1 inch in from the edge of the cardboard. Keep gluing all around until you reach the starting point. There overlap them and cut the excess feathers. Now do the same steps to attach the second layer. Go about an inch in from the previous row. For the third layer, cut the feathers about half an inch in from the ribbon. Then go ahead and glue these feathers around the line of the mirror that you drew earlier.
For the fourth layer, cut the feathers even shorter than you did for the previous row. And now try to attach them one by one to the middle of the previous feathers all around. Now go ahead and put lots of hot glue where the mirror will sit and then add your mirror. To help it adhere well I use this heavy vase. You can use a stack of books also. And then about 10 minutes later I came in and removed the vase and started to attach the wooden beads by placing hot glue at the bottom and glue them one by one all around the mirror. Then what I did was to flip it upside down to put the hanger on. I put hot glue and glued the edges of the string. And to make it more sturdy I also put a lot of hot glue on top. I waited for a couple of minutes the glue to dry and then I came in and cleaned my mirror with a glass cleaner and that finishes off our today's project. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I really love Hot and Out and that gets me into thinking, should I keep it or should I gift it? Comment below. Alright guys, now you know the drill, if you enjoyed today's video then hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you are into DIY home decor videos on a low budget then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Thank you so much for staying to the end guys and I hope I'll catch you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.